Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice nine drawer dresser that we're gonna redo. So follow along, hit that subscribe button. All right, overall, what the plan or the game plan is today is we're gonna sand this entire piece down. We're gonna try to stain the top and then we're gonna paint this uh, black out black. So what that means is we gotta pull the drawers out. We've gotta pull the hardware off, pull the door, get that all taken care of. Uh, we can sand, clean it up. We're gonna paint it, scuff it up, and finalize this piece. So we're looking at about four, four and a half hours of work here. So let's get started by removing all the hardware, checking the subframe. All right, we are to everybody's favorite part. Sanding. Got my DeWalt sander, 80 grit sandpaper. For this specific project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to sand this top down, restain it, and then we're just gonna scuff sand everything else so the paint sticks nice to it. We don't really want a slick surface to, to try to adhere to paint. So everything that we can do that's straight edge, we'll do, and then we'll come back and hand sand everything, which means <laughs> a lot of those doors and drawers are going to have to be hand sanded. So let's get started. vacuumed it out, cleaned it up. The thing that we're gonna change now is <clears throat> we're not gonna stain the top. The veneer is a little too thin. I didn't like how thin it was uh, to start with uh, once I started sanding it down. So we're just gonna paint it so it's a solid black piece now. So everything's gonna get two coats. We're gonna start with the back side of the door, get two coats in that, do all the drawers, two coats, and then we'll start working on this frame for two coats. After that, we'll scuff it up. Today we're gonna use Bare Ultra Scuff Defense, I guess it's their new, uh, for good for flat colors or flat paints. Uh, it's supposed to not scuff up as much. Eh, probably could have read that with the uh, label here. Scuff Defense, Blackout, two inch Wooster brush, and we'll go from there. So, let's get started. So we've painted it twice, we've let it all dry, and now we're gonna start sanding it down. Give it a nice farm style vintage look. This is a step that you could skip if you wanted, but here at Vintage Statements, we love doing it. We love that look, that vintage feel. So I'm gonna use the 80 grit sandpaper that I used to sand down the piece. So it's, it's not as rough as an 80 grit that started. It's a little bit nicer. And we're just gonna scuff up this whole piece just a little bit, we're gonna wax it. I'm gonna put the hardware back on it. So, let's get started. <laughs>
scuffed it up, vacuumed it, wiped it down, and now we're gonna add our wax to it with an old sock. So very thin and natural, goes on nice. Wipe it on, wipe it off, we'll do everything, and then we can start putting that hardware back on. So this is the last time you're gonna see it before it's completed. Here it is, completed nine drawer dresser uh, in blackout black, flat paint. We scuffed it up, gave it this vintage look, and well, the end result, pretty amazing. I love the transformation. If you like this and many of our other projects, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, leave us a thumbs up or a comment, or both, <laughs> and maybe this will get you motivated, or maybe you have a piece at your house that you want to redo, and this was just up your alley. I hope it helps you.